the chicken dance. I mean, I, more no, chicken. I know you're bullshit. Why'd you stop doing the chicken dance? Because <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> it's an uncut video. Hello! Ah, sorry about that. Top of the morning, friends. So I scared people. Top of the morning. Uh, once a week, we upload beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces to this channel. But this video is uncut. And in today's Uncut, we're going to sit down or stand up with the beautiful Mr. Phil Goss, president of the U.S. ARC, and we're going to talk about what really happened at the U.S. ARC auction last night. Oh, what? Well, you don't have the microphone? Somebody else is coming in with a the microphone? They hinted at it. They're trying. Okay, so I just want to talk about the auction. I wanted to talk about, obviously, U.S. ARC is important. I made a video a while back where I was kind of like... Shaming people a little bit, maybe, maybe just a little bit, not intentionally, but just like expressing my feelings. An uncut video just like this one, trying to garner as much support for U.S. Arc as possible because it's very important, as you know, being the president. You know, you might be a little biased there, but a lot of us that aren't president of U.S. Arc agree with the fact that U.S. Arc, I mean, just recently shut down something that was happening with the Lacey Act Amendment again and got that, that was what, two weeks ago now? Yeah, not Literally. too long ago, yeah, uh, July 27th. Yeah, so it just, just, kept that from happening and it's not something that's going to stop coming at us correct right and we'll fight on before we keep going just to be clear u.s arc was not the only ones fighting it we found it buried in a 3,000 page bill and we kind of alerted everybody to it but again we're not taking full credit for it but we were one of the leaders in fighting that and stopping it so thank you everybody else and all the other organizations that jumped in yeah so yeah there's good work been done i mean i think there's a lot of people there's been a lot more attention i mean u.s arc has a youtube channel now you know, Garrett and, and the crew over there making a big push for that to happen. And that featured Brian Cusco. <laughs> but lots of other people coming in in the community to just make a number there, you know, so there's a visual number. People can go and see, like, there's this many people. Yep. And hopefully that continues to grow and grow and grow. Um, I'm going to be 100% honest. Last night, there was a moment, like, right when the auction started, there was, like, several empty reserve tables up front. And it, it depressed me a bit. I, I want, before I go into that, Okay, no, no, I'll continue going with where I was going. So I, I had that feeling. I was like, where, where is everybody? Why are, why are these tables not filled at the auction? You know, I'm going to ask you how it did, but I, I wanted to, I was going to make a video. I was going to walk around the show. I was going to go like vendor by vendor and ask if they were at the auction. And if not, why not? And can we please have them there next time? Because to me, I mean, sure, it's important at the auction to raise money for USR. Like, that's, that's a big chunk of why they do the auctions. But there's something bigger than that, I think, which is just to build that community and have everybody there sitting in the seats, meeting each other. You know, you can have dinner like later or before and just like come, you want to hang out and have time with your friends. If you're, if you're really dead tired, like you need to go to sleep to get rest of the next day, fine. But like if you're having just dinner with people and you want to go hang out with your friends, like everybody come to the auction, sit there, there's food for free. You can sit at the auction, enjoy that time and build the community around what we all want to do, which is show up to these shows and have a good time. And without US ARC and the other organizations that are tied in with you guys that help to build that stuff, fighting and always keeping tabs on what's happening legislative-wise, this could all be done. We could have no shows to ban. That's a reality, right? It, it is. And, and yeah, the auctions like you were just talking about, Brian, I mean, it's great. Whether you're the high bidder or not, and even if you're not bidding that much, just coming to those and being there, I mean, it's great. It's there's more energy in the room, obviously, the more people you get. So it's great if people, especially if you've never been to one, just come and witness it. And I promise if you come to one, you'll come back to more because we always have a good time. And again, even if you're not the high bidder, even if you're just helping those bids get up there, or even if you're cracking a joke, um, we like to keep it interactive with the US ARC auctions. Again, just come check it out. And that's open to vendors and to show attendees. Anybody is welcome to those. So Yeah, yep. it's it's fun. I mean, like, like, like Phil was saying, even if you're not bidding, even if you don't, like, you're like, I don't have money to spend at the auction, that doesn't matter. It's, that's the point I'm trying to make there is like, even if you're not there to donate anything to the auction or spend any money at the auction, you guys, I mean, the crazy amount of things you guys get in the auction, like you never know what's gonna, you might say this thing you've been looking for on eBay and it's just sold out and then, oh, all of a sudden there it is, the US ARC auction, like that could happen. You could have a friend that's with you that's there, it's like, oh, I really want that, I want to bid on it. But more so than just spending money, it's just being there and having that, camaraderie and environment everybody's kind of a big party Absolutely. i mean and yep. you keep it very family friendly some of the other auctions you know you go to tinley auction or something it gets super wild i mean those ones pack out too 
There um, is a there is a warning before any RBC auctions. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a reason my voice sounds like this on Sunday too. It's because it's 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 pretty exhaustive on my old throat to, to go through an auction on Saturday night. So. But if, seriously, if you haven't been to one, I mean, they are a lot of fun. Like, you, you make them fun. I, I love your dry, sarcastic Indiana humor. Like, I've loved it from the first time. I I always go, I just sit there and I laugh my butt off, man. It's, it's a blast. Brian's the one person laughing at the U.S. Arc auctions. <laughs> That's why I got to make sure he comes to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, honestly, like, I, I didn't, I didn't want to, I, I had that thought last night. I was like, I'm going to go around and start calling people out. And I'm going to be like, where are, you, where are we at? Why weren't you there? And will you be there next time? But I... I didn't want to be negative about it. I didn't want to be like shaming or, or just, I'd rather just be like, it, it's something you should come to because it's really fun. And it really is important to have everybody there and have a full room and have all the energy there, have every seat full, standing room only. Like that's, that's a big difference I think it makes it. And it would cure, I wouldn't have to feel depressed about it. I wouldn't feel like I need to walk around and call people out. But besides that, it's just really, it's really good. Like if we have the energy in the room and everybody's there, every single person that helps fill a seat, even if you don't have money to spend, it's just fun to have everybody there. Yeah. And to be to be fair, we're missing some some key players who are almost always at some of these California USA. Yeah. Ryan McVeigh from uh, um, VivTech, like he, he's usually there bringing a crowd, but he wasn't able to make it. Jimmy was not able to make it last night. So there's some people that weren't vending that usually would be there I think yeah, and a, a lot more shows this year big shows so yeah. I think people have got to kind of pick and choose which ones they're going to so yeah we didn't have some of the usuals there and, and last night was kind of an odd auction about 40 minutes in all of a sudden the room was filled um, so I don't know what happened I don't know if you noticed that but there was a surge kind of in the middle of the auction where I don't know if people were coming in late from dinner but we had this pickup in the middle of the auction and I looked up and all of a sudden all the chairs were full and there were people standing room only so that was cool to see. That that's true. It was just the very beginning. Like the first ten minutes, I was like, when because you're starting and there's like all these empty tables. I was like, we were, we were on the same wave. I was Brian. like, why, <laughs> why, why? But but I just want to encourage everybody. If you if you're a vendor at the show, I I almost feel like you're obligated to come and at least sit in a seat at the auction for at least the first thirty minutes. Like just because of how important if you're not if, if there was no US arc but there was no group that was looking out for what was happening you wouldn't have a show to vent and it's not going to be long before that happens if we don't stay on top of it and stick together and, and do these things yeah and a lot of people I mean please stop by the US arc booth or check us out on social media or website especially people who have only been in the reptile world two or three years they may not understand what US arc does but we have something like that was Lacey Ackerman which just came up that literally could have affected almost every reptile keeper in the US so you know, when something like that happens, it spreads awareness, and especially guys like you and Garrett and everybody else talking about U.S. Arc. And then when you come to an auction, you can kind of see it and see how important U.S. Arc is to all the people in that auction room, and it kind of helps you develop, hopefully, an appreciation for U.S. Arc and what we do. And it's really a blast. Like, I mean, I'm sitting here like, you gotta come, it's your duty, but it's so much fun. Like, it's really, a blast. my favorite part of the show is just to go to U.S. Arc auction. Like, like, when I'm at a show, like, are you going to auction? Like, Am I breathing? <laughs> it's, it, it's such a blast. It's so much fun to be in the room, feel the energy, all the jokes, the throwing stuff at people. I mean, all it's just so much fun. Like, never, think, everyone's different. Yeah. You're never going to get the same thing at a U.S. Arc auction. Everyone has its own personality. And if you don't go, you're going to miss something. You're going to miss something fun. Yeah, yeah. That, just that right there. And I think that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm much happier with the, what, what has transpired here in these last few minutes. Because I was, I told you what my plans were already, and I just, I, was, I didn't want to do that. I just, I really don't want to do it. Like as much as it, I felt it in my heart, I was like, I'm gonna do that. I didn't want to, and we're not doing it. We're just saying U.S. Arc auctions are super fun. If you're vending at a show, if you're attending a show, you should be showing up because you're missing out on a, just a memory that you will not forget. And it's free. It's and it's free, free. memories. It's free memories. You don't have to pay to be there. You can just sit there, and there's free food coming at you. You can go sit up and get a little empanada or something, and. It's just fun. I really would love to see every one of you at every U.S. Arc auction I am at, and I know Phil would love to see the seats full every time when he f throws that first item up there, just because of the energy in the room and and the importance of the camaraderie that's built in the in that room. That's where the that's where I think the core of the camaraderie of the reptile community comes together is at the U.S. Arc auction. You have to show your vending. It's great. There's people everywhere, but you're like you're vending, you're doing that, and you're doing the show stuff. But this is like a moment to sit down to the person next to you, somebody maybe you haven't met in the community yet, and just have like a, a few words back and forth and get to know, wow, there's some really cool people in this community and it's so diverse. Like you could find, there's somebody for everybody out here. Oh yeah, absolutely. 
people have gotten married you know, like marriage proposals now we're, ma- now we're matchmaking Brian's <laughs> talking about some someone for everybody out there <laughs> we're true. matchmaking at the US Arc auctions now <laughs> it's true but um, so my, my hand US, is US Arc singles dot com <laughs> My my hand is shaking a little bit because uh, I'm getting tired of holding this camera. I don't blame you. <laughs> you want me to hold it? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Please do. Just feel it. It's not too bad though, right? I was being a little bit of a wuss. You are a wuss. <laughs> Just a little bit. But, all right. Before we get out, um, is there anything you'd like to say to the folks that you haven't said already? Um, I mean, a lot of this video we talked about the U.S. Arc auction. If you don't go to a show where there's an auction at, I mean, still check us out. Hopefully. People are following us on social media. It'd be great if you could subscribe to the YouTube channel because it's new. Garrett's doing a great job. It did feature there. Cusco one episode. So you can go check out that video because everybody likes Brian. Who doesn't like Brian? <laughs> well, even if you here's don't a, like me, which is, the camera work. If you don't like me, which is completely fine. Others, I get plenty of reasons for that. Um, there's Who lots of other people that you might like. Everybody likes Brian. <laughs> Clint's on there. I mean, they, like All kinds of people that are way more likable than me that have been jumping in because because it's important. There's, it's that's one thing that I think that whatever disagreements we have, the majority of people understand how important a group like US Arc is to the reptile community, industry, hobby, whatever you want to call it. It's it's important, and most people understand that. And that's why we're starting to rally together. It's a beautiful thing to see everybody rallying together. And I just want to focus on that and staying together and working together. Because there's big groups out there that are working against us that make us look like a little David against the yes. huge Goliath. There are groups fighting us that we don't even we don't spend as much in our total budget. We don't get as much in revenue as some of these animal rights groups spend on postage. Right. So yeah, there's some some big people out there who don't like us. Yeah. But as long as we don't give up the fight, we're good to go. Good to go. And more importantly. You need to tell us who did a better job with the camera. Was it Cusco or was it me? That's, that's what's really important. That's, that's what I really want to know. All right, fair enough. Leave a comment down below. Check out the link in the description for the US Arc channel. Go and subscribe. Trying to build that subscribership. It's big numbers so that groups can go and see you. Like legislative bodies can look and be like, oh, this US Arc group, these reptile keepers, they're huge. There's millions of them out there. They're important. They're our constituency. We, the will of the people, is what rules ultimately. Yeah, and when we post an action alert, please take action. That matters. Whether you feel like it does or not, it absolutely does. Yeah, what happened a couple weeks ago proves that it matters. Yep. All right, you guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. We love you, and we will see you on the next video. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, thank you, bro. Aloha.